I'm hoping we could take advantage of some issues with this listing and get this property at a discount. Mark, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holden Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show where we work together one-on-one, -on -one, right? You get me and my team to directly work for you, right? You hire us to find you properties to help you grow your investment portfolio, start your investment portfolio. Hell, we don't even have to find the properties. If you're an investor out there and you're interested in the Cleveland market and you have a property that somebody offered you, right? And you think it's a good deal, but you're not quite sure, right? Of course you want to do your due diligence, right? You could do your due diligence by number one, getting a home inspection, right? But that is due diligence inside the four walls. What that's going to do is give you an idea of the structural integrity of your home. Incredibly important, but not the only thing that is important, right? You're an investor. You're watching this show right now because you're trying to take these properties and utilize them as a monetary vehicle. So what's more important for you than what's inside those four walls is what's outside those four walls. What is the validity of that home to be a money-producing machine for you? That's where I come in. That's where this show comes in, right? So if you're somebody out there and you got a property and you need to make sure it's a good deal, you want to send that property to us here at Holton Wise TV. Go to HoltonWise.com, Property Search tab, click the MLS Search and Analysis Show and order yourself a package, right? And we will analyze that for you. And we will also find you good investments based upon your wants, your needs, your goals. And that is what I'm doing today uh, for an out-of-state investor. His name is Mark. Mark, what's up, brother? Thank you for getting the package. Glad to see I can help you. What you are trying to do is buy a bunch of properties, some cash cows. We've done videos in the past. You have a very large amount of money to work with. I think at the moment uh, we are trying to find some good uh, places to store about $500,000 in cash for you. And I think this one uh, would be a very good property to do that. I love that you have cash because we can be even more aggressive on our offer because I think I can get this for you at a pretty good discount. It's even already uh, listed at a discount because there's some issues here, right? And I think we're going to be able to take advantage of those. Just listed, two days on the market, 4111 Henrits. This, this is the first, by the way, the first red flag for me that I, I feel like we're going to take advantage, dog. 4111 Henrits Avenue, number two, Old Brooklyn, Ohio, 44109. Now, that address, just the address on the listing is the first red flag that this listing agent, the person that the seller hired, they're out of their league, right? They're going to be going up against me, okay? Now, uh... A lot of people, they get this like thought process that like all realtors, uh, that we're all like friends or buddies and like we're all out there like working together. And a lot of realtors feel this way too. I, I see realtors like, like having networking events, right? Just like a whole fucking gaggle of realtors just having these fucking networking events with each other. Dude, I've never gone to a realtor networking event, okay? Ever. I did back in the day. At one point, there was a couple year period at Holton Wise. We were hiring realtors. Uh, so I went to recruiting events and we hired a few folks. But uh, that side of the business, we were in residential real estate as well as the investment stuff. That side of the business never appealed to me. So we eventually got out of that business. Uh, so outside of hiring realtors for a brief period several years ago, I never went to any of these like realtor networking events where all these realtors, they just like network together. Guys. If you're a fucking realtor, the last person you want to network with is a realtor, right? Coke doesn't want to hang out with Pepsi. Coke wants to take Pepsi's customers and vice versa, right? So you get a lot of these, uh, like, realtors out there that just, like, they're just kind of running around doing goofy stuff. They don't know what they're doing. And I think we might be dealing with one of those right now, right? Because, first of all, 
4111 Henrys Avenue number two. That there's like that's not like a thing. I don't know what that is. There is no such thing as like Henrys Avenue number one, number two. Like they did that because it's a two family home. That is not how you properly input it, right? So that right there, that's issue number one, red flag number one, that this realtor is gonna be outmatched. This is just one of those confused realtors. Uh, who just like thinks that all the other realtors are their friends, right? They're trying to do these networking things and, and they're going to have to go up in a negotiation against me. And it's, it's just not going to work because like, bro, I work for you, all right? My job is to make you money, is to save you money. This realtor, I don't know if they know that. I don't know if they're aware of the fact that like my allegiances are going to be to you and to you only. And me and this other realtor, we're not going to like team up like buddy buddy and like network and go grab a beer or a burger after this deal because we're friends and we did a deal together. My job is to exploit the weaknesses of this realtor to make you money, and I am going to fucking do that, right? So number two, that doesn't make any goddamn sense. Second thing, old Brooklyn, Ohio, four four one zero nine. I'm going to let you in on a little secret, dog. There's no fucking such thing as a city called Old Brooklyn, okay? Old Brooklyn is the name of a neighborhood in Cleveland. Old Brooklyn itself, it's not a city. It doesn't exist, all right? So they don't actually understand what city their their own listing is in, right? So they're just using, like, the name of the neighborhood, right? So, like, we have other, uh, you know, neighborhoods, right? Like, uh... In Cleveland, there's other neighborhoods called like Cam's Corner or Ohio City or Tremont. These are not actually cities, okay? These are just names for little neighborhoods in Cleveland, like Little Italy, right? Uh, apparently, this person, though, they don't understand that. So they've already screwed up uh, inputting the address twice. So I am guessing that when we come down to negotiating this thing, they're going to be far overmatched because I am, of course, the number one seller of rentals in the, in the neighborhood, right? And as far as photos, they've only given us two, and they're basically the same photo, just one outside from far away, one outside uh, from close up, right? All this is really good, though, right? They have two tenants in there. Both tenants are paying $600 a month, so it brings in $1,200 total a month or $14,400 a year. The seller probably is renting these for so low because maybe the seller doesn't necessarily understand what they have here. In this particular neighborhood, there is no reason that we should be renting any of these duplex units in a nice true duplex like this for less than $750 a month. So this building should be bringing in $1,500 a month, even though right now it's only bringing in $1,200 a month, right? They've listed it at $89,000. Now these duplexes, when we have a duplex like this, renting at the amount it should be renting for, $1,500 a month, we should be selling these duplexes at at least $100,000, Probably a hundred to a hundred and five thousand dollars is the true value of this home. But I think the seller confused at what the hell's going on. I think the realtor, the seller hired, confused at what the hell's going on. So they priced it at eighty nine. If you had to pay eighty nine, that'd be fine to jump on. But I think I'm gonna beat them up for you even harder, and I'm gonna try to get it down to you at a price down for you at a price of $85,000. That in my opinion is 15% off the true worth of the property. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to holtonwise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. And it still cash flows today, even without us increasing the rent. The cash flows great, brother. Twelve hundred comes in, an average of seven thirty nine goes out, leaving us with an NOI of four sixty one. That is a six point five cap. Now you're not financing. If you ever did finance, your cash on cash return would be very high. But I don't even want you to worry about that, right? If you're looking at this NOI, you're gonna be making fifty five hundred a year today. But it's going to take little to minimal effort to get that rent up another 300 bucks a month. You could be bringing in another $3,600 a year. So what this property should really be doing is performing at a 10 cap, okay? That's what the, the true worth here is, right? So the fact that all that is going for them and the fact that you're able to come in cash, 
I think, A, just because they've listed it so low, I think there's going to be a lot of people putting in offers. But you're cash, so we can kind of come in, and ours is just going to look so much more attractive than everybody else's, right? And that's why I think we stand a chance at getting that price down even a little bit more, even though they've priced it so well because I think they're confused. Now, something you got to know. Uh, when we do the inspection, right, because that's the other form of due diligence, right? You got to take care of inside the four walls. The roof, the hot water tank, the furnace, those are the big things, right? We don't know anything about it, right? The, the agent, for various reasons, I don't want to continue to just beat up on this poor agent, right? They're probably new. Uh, so, you know, sorry. <laughs> An agent out there from uh, da, 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 Broker Associates Realty, if you ever end up watching this show, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I just kicked you in the crotch for 20 minutes but it is what it is it's nothing personal perhaps you learned a little something here but uh there is no reason uh for us to assume that uh they have uh new mechanicals this agent this poor agent they haven't given us any information on that but i'm not going to assume any of that is new i don't see why it would be new even at a price point of $100,000, these duplexes typically have furnaces that are mid to end of life, hot water tanks that are mid to end of life, and roofs that are mid to end of life. If you're curious to know about future capital expenditures, both those furnaces, they last approximately 30 years, right? And they cost $3,000 a piece to replace. Hot water tanks last approximately 15 years, cost $1,000 to replace. Roofs last 30 years. Roof on a big old classical Brooklyn duplex like this, we're looking at at least $7,000, right? So those are, you know, future capital expenditures. Those are going to be coming in the next probably few years, at least some of them, right? But that is why, if you refer back to the other chart where I told you, 1200 comes in, 739 is going out. Saving for stuff like that, okay, saving for those capital expenditures that are coming up in the future, that's money you're putting away in your pocket, right? So that 461 you're probably actually, why everything is cooking, you're going to have $180 a month more than that every single month, right? The repairs, the maintenance, the vacancy, and the non-payment, the CapEx. While everything is cooking, while you're not fixing any roofs or while you're not dealing with a turnover, all of that money gets added on to money you get to take home, right? But I don't allow you guys to consider that part of your ROI because that would be disingenuous of me. That would be me giving you guys a performa that I know is not true. Because instead of, uh, you know, 461 coming in, why am I going to tell you you have another $180 of profit every month coming in when I know Every 30 years, you're going to have to fork over 3 Gs for a furnace. Every 30 years, you're going to have to fork over 7 Gs for the, the roof, right? So I like to factor that stuff in for you, though. So know that when we get that inspection, that stuff's coming. And hey, sometimes I'm able to negotiate a price even better for you after that stuff comes about. Because they haven't told us anything about the, the roof, the furnace, the hot water tank being old. So sometimes I'm able to take that information, if it's new information, in the inspection report and beat up on the seller, beat up on the listing agent. So I will absolutely try to do that. And it might allow us to get the property even cheaper than when we originally go under contract. Because again, I, again I'm, <laughs> I'm not trying to beat up on this poor agent. I know it, it feels like that or it seems like that. It's not my goal here, uh, but it, it just is what it is, Mark. I work for you, so I'm going to do everything in my power to get you the very best deal. And if I'm going up against somebody who I don't think has an adequate level of skill, right, not like a one-to-one, -one, like not too evenly matched negotiators, I will do my best to try to beat them down and get your price even better because I don't think that they know what they have. I don't think that they know what the true worth is here. They sure as shit don't know what the actual market rent is because they're renting it for $600 a month when the units are clearly $750 units. So for all of those reasons, Mark, I want to get aggressive. I want to try to pick it up at 85 get that inspection, and then go from there. If that makes sense for you, the strategy I've laid out, if you like it, brother, uh, reply to the link. We will get this going. We'll get the negotiation started. If for whatever reason uh, you don't like this deal, solid C-class deal here, you don't like it, let me know uh, why, and then on your next video, I will make the necessary adjustments. But I think it really hit your criteria, right? You wanted a multifamily cash cow. You wanted to be in a B or C neighborhood, right? And I think we can pick up some equity. So I dig it, but hey, man, it's your money. It's your investment portfolio. If something about this doesn't sit right with you, just give me that feedback in your next video. We're going to go a completely different route. That's all I've got for today's show. Again, folks. If you're interested in working with me in the same way Mark did, 
Oldwise.com, property search for sale tab. Click the MLS search and analysis show. Order yourself a package today. If you got questions, you can send those to my team. Sales at HoldenWise.com. Go ahead and give us your phone number if you'd like us to give you a call, talk to you about our offerings, talk to you about working with us. We also got everything on our FAQ on HoldenWise.com. And, of course, you can keep watching. So if you're a new subscriber, make sure you do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because HoldenWise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. G'day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our U.S.-based support team by phone, email, and chat, who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.